Hello and welcome everybody to 1984. Now, when I say 1984, so many things come up, okay? Actually, this week I'm talking to friends and family about 1984 and everybody has a different thing. They're like, the search for Spock. I'm like, thanks, Dad. Thanks for that. I know you love Star Trek, but what else happened in 1984? And, <laughs> and other people are like, Conan the Destroyer. I know a lady who might have just watched that like all the way through like her young young years because she loved Arnold. It's just it's just interesting how you know Beverly Hills Cop was one of my favorite movies. I love Beverly Hills Cop. It cracks me up. 1984 was an, an awesome year for film. Like look at the list. It's like the last Starfighter. There's so many interesting things that came out. I guess maybe that's one of those movies that hasn't aged very well. And who won the Masters? Let me think. What was his name? Oh, it's right here on this Hag Ultra Iron. Crenshaw. Ben Crenshaw. Do you remember his putt? Was that the year he had this awesome putt? Anyway, from like 90 feet up. To me, Ben Crenshaw always had these awesome Walter Hagen irons, which to me just was so exciting. Like going back and watching these, I'm like, whoa, hey, Walter Hagen. And here we have the Hague Ultra from 1984, the year Crenshaw won the Masters. We need to have a closer look. So the 1984 Hague Ultra, you can clearly see Hague Gold Diamond Ultra. There's a shiny vintage golfer down here reflecting off the muscle. We have a light reflecting off the heel. All right, let's get down to it. Crenshaw grind down here on the top, the aft portion of the top line. Now this is recess. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it clearly. I want to show you the toe profile so you can see that little crimp right here. And then it muscles out back down here. And there's another little crimp down here. Again, not sure if you're going to be able to see that through the toe profile. The sole, it has the six, and I love it how they put the dots instead of a line. So we know it's a six. Walter Hagen signature. And then we have the bore through hosel right here. We'll spin around, show you the top line, navigate my sea of stands. It looks pretty clean. It's a little pointy, not too pointy. Semi round toe right there. I'm not seeing any offset there. It looks really good. The grooves have this no-nonsense, just grooves. Oh man, they feel sharp. They feel good. And then as we move up the hosel, we can see it's like fluid feel like the Wilsons of the day because the Hagens were made by Wilson. Fluid feel Hagen. Normally there's not a gap here. This one's just slipped up a little. I don't know. They can't be bothered to fix it. Black ferrule, two gold stripe. We move up the stepped shaft. It seems like most golf clubs have stepped shafts. I mean, putters sometimes will have a tapered shaft, but whatever. True Temper Dynamic Gold S400 right here. This is a reminder for me I put on here for the year 1984. And this was like the Wilson serial number or something right here. And then this looks like a Newman leather grip with the Walter Hagen crest up here on the heel, the butt, the heel, the butt of the grip. Is that right? No, I can't, it doesn't. Maybe it'll be more clear on the camera, but I'm having trouble seeing that in real life. Newman, yeah, genuine leather. Anyway, let's see if a duffer like me can hit some blades. It's funny because I have blade sets, but whatever, let's go to the range and see how it does. Let me tell you about first world problems, people. Every time I hit one of these vintage Walter Hagen irons, I want it, and I want it badly. Like, they're so nice. They're, so, they're like butter, you know? If I, now this is gonna, people are gonna throw stones, like out of the camera, there's gonna be stones being, and rotten vegetables coming out of my camera and hitting me in the face, okay? If I had to choose 
a brand in the 80s that could go toe-to-toe with Ben Hogan in the 80s, it's Walter Hagen. They're that good. In my mind, this is just my opinion, remember? Vegetables are coming right now. I'm dodging stones. I said it. They're that good. I have a set of 70s Walter Hagen, right? So I have the Ultradyne Woods. I have the Hague Ultra Irons. It's a lovely set, okay? But every time I hit a different Hague Ultra, this is, I mean, I want this set in the 80. Crenshaw, one in 84 at the Masters. So that's my feeling. I might be actively looking on eBay for another set of these. This is becoming a problem. Do they have Vintage Golf Anonymous? Because I might need to be sponsored. All right, let me know your thoughts with the Hague Ultra, and particularly 1984, because whew, this is nice. This is Wilson's answer to Ben Hogan. If you want to support this channel, you can visit my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. If you have a set of Hague Ultra 1984 irons that you want to sell me or just, you know, <laughs> give me, you can email me at the hobbyphilic at gmail.com address. You can go to the about page and you can find that. I'm also accepting general support on Patreon. There's a few behind the scenes videos. I'd like to post a few behind the scenes things. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I am the Vintage Golfer.